We can be nail buddies. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you some nail goodies that I've gotten recently. And when I say recently, I mean that these have been accumulating for the past couple of months. <laughs> so I will try to find and link as many items down below in the comment section so that it will be easier for you guys to find. By the way, if you guys are interested in this makeup look, I will link the video down below. So I've been really getting into doing my own nails. I always did my own nails, but I have been trying my hardest to grow them out and so thanks to these two nail polishes i have been able to um the first one is by sally hansen and it's the maximum growth one and as you can see i used a, a lot of it and i've been using it very sparingly because for some reason my walmart doesn't carry this anymore so i'm gonna have to order it online eventually but this has been amazing. I even like the natural pinky tint that it leaves on your nails. Um, it's so, so pretty on the nails for some reason. I know it's clear, but that natural pinky tint just makes your nails look really healthy and really pretty. And I feel like this would look really nice under like a French manicure or something as the base. This would look really nice. But I have been using it, this um, as my base coat, so it's been working great. But since none of the store is close to me, uh, carry this anymore. I had to find a backup. So I found this one by Sally Hansen again, but this one is the Complete Care 7-in-1 Nail Treatment. And this one is also, I guess, like a nail hardener. And this has been doing wonders as well. It doesn't leave the pretty pink tint like the other one, but this one leaves your nails like rock hard so that it doesn't chip. And my nails are so brittle, they're always breaking, but this has been doing wonders for my nails. I use this as a base coat and then like every two or three days, I'll just apply some right on the tip of the nail just to protect it and create like a bumper almost for your nail so that if it does hit something, it will survive. I also decided to try out the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Top Coat. I love instant dry top coats. Those are the only top coats that I use. My usual favorite is the Sachet Vite top coat, but since I ran out of that, I decided to try this one. Um, the Sally Hansen one is pretty good. It's not as good as the Sachet Vite one, but I mean, it does what it says. It does dry down quickly, so I really do like it. It does leave a nice shine. What more can you ask for? And then the final polish that I got is from Essie, and it is in the shade Gossamer Garments. I've been wanting to recreate this nail look that I saw on Pinterest and I've been trying and trying to find a similar color and this still is not a similar color to the Pinterest one but um, it was very very pretty nonetheless. I actually ended up using this as the base for my French manicure. It was really pretty, it was very light and sheer and i've been into sheer nail polishes and sheer makeup lately i don't know what that's about but i thought it was really pretty but it's not quite what i was looking for but you know what can you do i'll have to make this work um until i can find a better match for the pinterest nail polish which will be hard because i'm pretty sure the nail polish that is used in the pinterest picture is like a gel polish and i don't use any gel polishes at all i just use like the regular old school polish um so yes if anyone knows a similar polish to this then let me know like a regular polish not a gel polish a regular polish so next are some fun items that i have bought to decorate my nails. The first one, as you can see, is pretty much all used up, but they are these Aurora Borealis, uh, they're not Swarovski crystals, but they're just rhinestones, but they are very, very pretty. I actually used up this much because I used the bigger gems to decorate my laptop case, 
and that was a fun little project that I got to do. But the little itty bitty ones were far too little to use on my laptop case, so therefore I am going to save these to use for my nails. I haven't used them on my nails yet, but they look so pretty on the case, I can't wait to use them on my fingernails. Then for my laptop case, I also ended up getting these black rhinestones. These actually came with a lot. I actually wish the AB crystals came with this many, but these were great for my case and the rest I will probably use for maybe my phone case or my nails. So that's exciting. And then to pick up the rhinestones, you can always use tweezers or even better, a wax pencil, but I wanted to go all out. So I got these little um, rhinestone picker uppers. <laughs> these are so amazing for picking up rhinestones. One end is like kind of like a rubbery end and one is a metal end. This one picks it up so easily. And then with this end, I usually maneuver the rhinestone to where I want it exactly. And oh, oh my gosh, making my laptop case would have been impossible if I didn't have this, just saying. And they're so pretty too, like the inside has like these little clear crystals and it's just so pretty. And they're both the same, I don't know why one has a yellow tip and one has a white tip, but they're both the same. Next are these iridescent nail confetti? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know. Nail decor. Um, they come in all of these different shapes and even slightly different shades. Um, they're so, so pretty up close, and again, this was inspired by some Pinterest pics that I saw. <sighs> I just, I'm trying to recreate these beautiful nails that I see online. I don't know if I will be able to, but the, these bring me one step closer, you know? Even if you were to do like crafts with these, like making a card or something, I feel like these would come in handy. These are so, so pretty. And the shapes are really cool. There's stars, there are hearts, um, moons, smiley faces, and the one shape that absolutely sold me on this was Mickey Mouse ears. Yes, they have iridescent Mickey Mouse ears. <sighs> I, I had to have them. Next, I got this pack of six gold nail decals. I guess they're called decals? I'm not sure, but nail decor. Um, they are so cool. They have so many different shapes. There's a bunch of moons and stars and crosses and hearts. And I just thought these were so amazing. They had such great variety and you get six of these, which was awesome. And again, I got these so that I could recreate that nail look. You know, it was, all of this was because I wanted to recreate this nail look. I can't believe this. Ugh. But these are so, so pretty and I can't wait to use them on my nails. And then finally we have nail foils. I got these two sets. The first one has gold and bronze and copper and silver. And I actually have not used these yet, but the nail art that I've seen of people using these look amazing. So of course, again, Another purchase fueled by Pinterest. I don't know. And then these I did use. I actually have them on my nails right now. And my nails are actually like oh, literally a week old and are starting to look disastrous. But I had a dark blue base and then I used these four foils. And these are a lot harder to work with than I expected. I expected these to be more of like a cellophane kind of like really thin plastic material, but these are more of like plastic chips almost. They're quite rigid, at least most of them are. There are some pieces in between that are just small enough so that it's easier to work with, but some of them are pretty like big and too big for the nail. So it was a little hard to work with, but um, I mean, they look really cool. I tried to do like stained glass nails and uh, the effect was really nice, but they are very rough. I put so many layers of top coat, but it was still rough. So I don't know. I didn't use my Seche Vite, my, my tried and true Seche Vite top coat. So maybe next time I'll try it with that top coat, but Yes, these are a little difficult to work with. I would suggest maybe 
um, cutting them into smaller pieces and like laying them out before you apply them on your nails because the nails dry rather quickly while I'm trying to like figure out how to break this plastic chunk into little pieces. So I would highly suggest doing that before you put them on your nails. I will have to play around with these a little bit more, but um, the colors, I mean, you can't deny they are really pretty. Even though these look a little different in their individual containers, when on a dark blue base at least, they look pretty similar. They don't exactly reflect pink or blue, but some of them reflect green, some of them reflect blue. It's just like the iridescent decals. It's the same thing. Anyways, I'm just gonna have to mess around with this a little bit more and figure it out. But so far, I'm so happy with all of my purchases. Nails have always been a way that I can express myself. So I'm really, really excited that I have new toys to play with. I'm literally going to do my nails right now when I stop filming. So like in the next few minutes. So I don't know which one I'm going to use. Maybe I'll do a poll on Instagram and ask you guys. Again, as I said earlier, I will try to link as many of the items down below so that you guys can find them and bling out your nails as well. We can be nail buddies. All right guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.